Today we're getting out our brush pens and practicing our illustration style with a study of cute potted plants. What's up my friends? My name is Shada Campbell and on this channel we make art together and it's fun, not scary. Today we're gonna do a little illustration in my notebook. This is from Archer and Olive and we're going to be working with brush pens, but you can use any smooth paper like cardstock. Works really well when you're working with markers and that kind of thing. Uh, this is what my marker collection looks like very organized <laughs> and I have a couple brands. I use Faber-Castell, I use some Tombow dual tip pens, I've got some Koi uh, coloring brush pens and then these larger ones here are Spectrum Noir and I like the Aqua ones. These are all water-based or India ink based markers, not alcohol markers. They bleed through the page and they're just a different thing. So you've got your paper, pencil and water-based markers or brush pens and we're we're going to create an illustration that is a collection of potted plants. I find working on a theme like say draw seven pairs of socks or seven different teapots or eight or nine different potted plants. It's just a fun way to develop your illustrative style and I don't know work on a color palette, test out a new um, product that you might have bought from the art store, a new pack of markers. So what you see me doing here is just drawing a collection of different vessels. Some are just simple flower pots. I did kind of a, a large pitcher. Some are just like basically squares. I kind of worked them out in pencil. I erased uh, the bulk of my kind of sketchy messy lines. And then at that point, I'm ready to start adding the color with my brush pens. So let's do that. First up is a potted geranium. For the flower pot, I do a horizontal line and then I kind of just color in a little square area down below. Keep it really simple. For the blossom, the geranium is made up of all these tiny little flowers. So I don't actually draw little flowers. I just do like scribbled dots in a big cluster and it gives the look of the geranium flower. Add a stem and some big, wide, sort of bumpy leaves coming off in every direction. That's our basic geranium. You might take a darker brown if you have one and just add a little shading to the flower pot. It's nice to layer your brush pens and that's it. So I think you can see we're keeping everything really simple and illustrative and sketchy. The next one is a vessel I think you'll all recognize. It's that big concrete pedestal planter. I start with that horizontal line and then I kind of just draw in the bulky um, bits of the pedestal down below at the base and then with a lighter gray just color it in. That way if you kind of made it a bit messy, it doesn't matter. The lighter gray kind of blends everything together. Then we're going to take a green and we're going to draw messy leaves in clusters kind of flowing over the top of this pedestal planter. Once you've put a few of those in, come back in with that dark gray and make the uh, top part of the planter a little bit wider. So you give yourself a chance to put the leaves first. Then we can pick a color, any color will do, I'm using purple. And just like the geranium, we're going to make all these scribble clusters. So to create flowers, you don't actually have to draw any flowers. <laughs> Once you've uh, layered a little bit of purple or pink or whatever color you choose, come back in with that green and just add a few more leaves and the whole thing comes together really nicely and looks like this overflowing pedestal planter, perfect for spring. Okay, next let's try drawing some pansies. So I'm gonna start this one the same as the geranium, a simple flower pot, horizontal line, and then draw in the bottom section down below. I used a lighter brown, kind of a sand color. And then the pansies, you kind of do draw flowers. <laughs> start with a big uh, base petal and then add four more. So basically you're just drawing a four petal flower. If you wanna draw some on an angle, just do a little heart shape or a V shape and then Basically, I just drew a big gold cluster of them. From there, take a green and start adding stems and leaves. And we're just gonna fill in so that there's lots of green kind of framing all of those purple flowers. 
Then that purple should have dried by now. So we're gonna take a dark purple, use the smaller uh, nib if you have a dual tip pen. And we just add some little purple lines at the um, center of each flower to give that pansy look. I added a couple more flowers to my cluster, a little bit of shading on the flower pot, and that's all done. This next one is all about the flower pot. So grab a dark blue if you have one. And we start again with that horizontal line. I'm gonna do the outline of the vessel. Maybe add a couple thin lines. What we're doing here is kind of a porcelain look. So add some stripes. And then we just kind of do a messy floral pattern right across the center. A couple more stripes, it can be very messy. I'm telling you, doesn't have to look good to hint at porcelain. And then I think I'll put some peach roses in here. Peach always looks nice with blue. So here's how we do the roses. We're gonna make these messy little broken spirals. Some of them are circular, some are just messy. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. And with those done, you're going to uh, come in with the green, just like all the others, add some stems, some leaves. Basically, you wanna frame the flowers and uh, make it look like there's just a big old burst of stems and leaves happening all around them. Finally, add a couple dots of a darker color like pink or burgundy at the center of each rose. And if you want to be a little bit extra, take a light gray and put just a hint of shading on the flower pot on both sides or at the bottom. If the blue blends a little bit, no worries, it's gonna look great. This video is all about channeling spring and summer, even though it's very much still winter where I am. So next, let's try some snap dragons. Grab a nice uh, uh, peach or pink, and we're going to create these flowers that are long and sort of conical. And again, we're doing this scribbly dotted area to uh, make the big conical blossom. So do two or three or four in a cluster, kind of rising up from the vessel, from the flower pot. And then a nice thing is to choose a slightly darker color, peach or pink, and just layer in some more dots. That's going to give this uh, Snapdragon a more three-dimensional look. I needed to make mine a little bit longer, so I came in with some more pink. You might leave some space between some of the dots as well, because then when we come in with the green, you'll see the stem kind of peeking through at the base of, of the flowers. Once you've added stems, you can frame these again with some shaggy leaves. So these leaves are made up of lots of little lines in a tiny cluster. And then for the pot, I'm going to do kind of like a concrete planter. So I'm just doing a square with rounded edges, filling it all in with light gray, then take a darker gray and just add a little bit of dotting on the two corners to give that concrete look. Go back over it with your light gray if you want to blend it slightly and that's it. Okay, sticking with our spring theme, let's draw a picture with tulips in it. Picture might seem difficult to draw, but it's just this basic rectangle with a little spout on one side and then add the handle. I filled it in with a really pretty sky blue. Come in with the darker blue, just add that little shadow on the handle. Then for the tulips, we're going to, I'm using really light pink and I'm just making these kind of U-shaped blossoms. Uh, like all the other flowers, we take our green and we add stems and leaves and the stems and the leaves are really there to frame these flowers, especially if they're a really light color like my pink. It really makes that light, light color pop off the white page by framing them with the dark green. Some of those long, thin leaves can be kind of drooping over the picture, have a few popping up in the back, and uh, yeah, that's about it. We'll take a darker pink and just add a low light at the base and left side of each U-shaped tulip blossom. And you might add a dark line down the center of some of those leaves if you have a darker green, maybe a little more shading on the picture if you wanna be extra. And that's it for the picture of tulips. For my final potted plant, I'm gonna keep it really simple. We don't wanna mess up our illustration now. We're just doing these four petal flowers. I like to do a line across the bottom and then three more petals. Like the pansies, to do an angled flower, just draw a little heart shape or a V. And you get the look of these 
very simple flowers, but they look dynamic because they're all kind of going out on different angles and that kind of thing. Uh, for the leaves and stems, I'm keeping everything really, really thin, almost like a grassy sort of um, branch and stem with these tiny little leaves. This is just a made up flower, but I feel like it kind of looks like impatience or something like that. Uh, we'll draw some leaves kind of drooping on top of the potted area and then we'll just come in. It could be any color, but I'm just using a medium sort of honey brown to fill in this low wide pot. Then I'm going to take a lighter green, just add a little bit more to my stems and leaves. And finally, I'll finish this by taking a darker brown and adding some low lights across the base of my planter. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this brush pen illustration tutorial. Drawing a group of one thing is a wonderful way to kind of develop and learn a little more about your own artistic style and it's just fun. Follow along with me and then come up with a new theme that you can draw on. It could literally be a group of anything you can think of. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button to keep these videos coming and I'll see you soon with a new tutorial.